friends and welcome back to Lemon Tree Corner. This month in the studio we are doing Christmas in July. Yay! <laughs> so what you're going to see this month is a bunch of project ideas of things that you can get started on now for holiday presents, um, friends, family, kids, teachers, like whoever in your life that you want to make a handmade present for. Uh, I just figured with the YouTube algorithm Christmas in July made more sense uh, but I fully acknowledge that there are other cultures and religions celebrating holidays in the winter time. I would like to put that out there that this is not Christmas specific. These are presents you could make for anybody for any of the holidays. Um, some of them will be more Christmas specific, but there's enough variety in there for everybody. So I hope you've joined me for this month of making. So we've got several different ideas we're going to do. We have this huge bag, this huge basket of <laughs> Christmas yarn, um, partially left over from my Annie's Christmas blanket, which is also what I made these out of, is Annie's Christmas blanket fabric, or yarn. And I also bought some other yarns from Joann's. I think they're all the Big Twist acrylic yarns uh, in a similar color palette that we can use to make I'll put a picture in. I did not keep one of them out for this, but we're going to be making some granny baubles. So I bought these on Amazon and they don't come off very easily, which is good because we're going to be making these for the um, Torrance Crafters Guild that I'm part of. We have a Christmas tree at the hospital and anybody staying at the hospital or their brothers and sisters, any kids, get to pick an ornament off the tree. <laughs> so we're supposed to make like 800 of them. I don't know how many I'm going to personally make, but we are we have a lot of yarn, so we are going to try. So we're going to make those, and I also have these that my grandma made that I want to try and make. They're out of plastic canvas, so I've got the plastic canvas and everything as well that we can try making some of those just for variety. We also have, I'll put up pictures, of the snowflakes and the trees that we're going to try and make this month as well. That would be really pretty as a garland or just something to tie to a present. And what else? Oh, the, um, the felt ornaments. So I've got these felt, uh, felt embroidered ornaments that would also be good on a tree or on a present or as a garland. So all of that fun stuff. And then on the other side of things, we have a ton of beautiful Christmassy, wintry fabrics that we are going to use to make some project bags and things out of. Yeah, I want to start doing a seasonal drop of project bags. So the first one will be winter. So I want to get started on those and work on those. Um, mainly do a push this month and then also in November. But I'd like to have those up on the website by probably December 1st. So that's the plan. And we also have some other present ideas if you're on more of the sewing side of things. So I've got a few easy bags that we're gonna be making. So if you are a sewist, we also have some fun projects that you can try your hand at. Um, one of them that you have seen me make before are the piggies. These are perfect little coin purses for the little ones uh, and they've got a little pocket which is perfect to put a gift card in or coins so uh, it would be a really fun present idea. We also have the pyramid pouches that we just made but we're going to try making smaller ones so they're going to be more of a coin purse size as well. We also have the um, the pencil pouches which would be good for teachers and any artistic people in your life, anybody who does journaling, that would be good for. And then we also have this cute little makeup pouch. It's a wristlet, so it's got a little wristlet strap and this just this fun little shape. So I made this out of my leftover cherry fabric, but you could make it out of anything. It's just very simple, no pockets inside, it's just one pouch. So. And we're also going to take a few field trips. My sister and I are going to go to a yarn store and a reclaim like craft thrift store. So that'll be interesting. I'll take you along for that. Um, my husband and I are also going to do a quick trip down to Carlsbad 
uh, just because the next trip we have isn't until October <laughs> and I don't want to go this whole summer without having some sort of beach trip so we're gonna take a couple of days to go down there I'll take you along with me on that and then gonna be doing some stuff for July 4th as well so lots of stuff planned in July I hope you join us for the journey and if that sounds good to you go ahead and grab a water or a cozy beverage and let's get started it's so hot <laughs> it's like 80 degrees outside of wearing this so I hope you enjoy the combination of the um, the summer tank top and the winter oh. oh it's so hot we got our fabric in so much fabric um, I'm gonna do a quick fabric parade with you now some of these are to go with the Christmas fabric because I did not have um, a lot of blenders or linings so these ones these ones are specifically going to be for random linings that I need. I also got some cute Christmas trees and some poinsettias. So Christmas trees are obviously Christmassy, but the poinsettias are more just uh, wintry. So that's good. And I think that's it for the Christmas stuff. I just needed a couple of things to supplement so we can add that to the Christmas stuff and then I'm gonna stop talking and we'll take a look at all the other fabrics some of these are um, fabrics for purses and some are for the spring project bags that I'm going to make in the future can't remember what all goes with each other so that's the question Yeah, I can't remember what goes with what. So this is this is the fun part is trying to figure out what past Heather was thinking when she ordered stuff. And of course, everything I get is from Stash Fabrics. Uh, I just love their their little design board thing where you can put stuff next to each other. It's cute too because they use their little scraps to tie everything up. So here comes the fun part, trying to figure out what fabric goes with what. Okay, I will stop talking now. two odd odd ones out I don't know what I was pairing with these 
Um, this kind of goes with that, but I'm pretty sure I picked that out for that. And then we've got all of these ones that I don't know what I was putting. I'm pretty sure I was putting that with this. And then I like that one. I think I was picking the orange for that one. I've got extra of this because there wasn't that much left. And that kind of goes with this. That actually pulls out that color very well. And then I don't know what I was pairing with that. So I'll have to look back at the website. <laughs> but we have a lot of fabric. So that's good. And then I forgot I had also picked out these ones. So I'm going to pair these two together. I was looking for something in this really light mint color. Um, but I don't know if I already have something that will work for that in the stash that I just pulled out. So we will see. But I love these together. It's just so cozy. Cozy winter kind of spiced wine vibes going on there and then this is a blender oh maybe I was thinking of this one was I thinking of that one these are so cute little skiing um, little skiing penguins maybe I was thinking of those two together okay so I should put these three together because I could easily do the bottom or the lining out of this. So this would be a sweater bag since I have so much fabric for that. And then we like these two together. This would even work as the lining for this. Might be nice. And then I just got a random star fabric that we can use. So we can mix and match a lot of these. So these are all going to go back in the bags. I think I'm going to separate out all the springy ones that I was going to make project bags out of. <clears throat> yeah, I really can't remember what fabric this was for, but it ties in nice with that. And then we've got these ones. I think I'm going to keep this with the moths because the moths were very they kind of tie in with that color as well. But I'm pretty sure I picked this one out to be with that. But all three of those together might work. So I'm going to put this right next to that one. And then these are super cute. And I've got extra of this, which this would be really good for those Alice bags as well. So keep all those together. Mm. So these are all the ones that I'm thinking of for the spring project bags. This is enough for like three bags. I just, I couldn't resist these ones. I don't know what these are going to be. It might just be like a tote bag. It might be a sweater bag. I don't know what that's going to be. And then this would make a really pretty bag. This still feels very wintry to me. So maybe we should put it in the winter stack. And then I did, honestly don't remember. This kind of goes with the ochre and blues that I have going on with the other fabric collection that I ordered. So maybe we'll put that in with that. Okay, lots of work to do. I already have so much fabric that I need to go through from the first five years. <laughs> but this fabric is going to have to wait a little bit longer. So we're going to have to come up with a storage plan for these. Okay, that's it for the first episode. Um, I don't know, since these are more vlog style, if I'm going to have an intro outro for these, so I do apologize for not popping in at the end here, but realize that it's ending abruptly. So stay tuned for future episodes where we go on some field trips, make some cool presents, and I share all of that with you. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Love you, friends. Bye.